as an sm it's not my responsibility to track each and every person's work because sprint backlog is owned by the developers daily scrum is owned by the developers and it's their responsibility accountability and they uh, the stories which they have taken and they would work on those respective action items by talking to the respective product owner if they have any problems with the respective uh, requirements of the user stories and what an sm can do is the sprint goal which has been defined in the sprint planning are we on track with the sprint goal or not that can be the only thing which an sm can do and for that matter the scrum board or a kanban board has been created for the uh, respective team if one if one wants to see what is the real truth what's happening are you on the track with the sprint goal or not that can be seen only in the scrum board and uh, nobody has got a right to, to to tell any developer that what needs to be done because it's uh, ultimately they are the respective responsible persons and scrum master has nothing to do with their responsibility only helping them uh, in removing the impediments uh, if, if they got any blockers try to resolve them so that they are going smooth in their work hi all this is keerthi here and today's question is uh, should scrum how to st- scrum master track day to day activities of all the team members so uh the direct answer to this is scrum master is not responsible or should not be owning the tracking of day to day activities of the team members um it but uh it is very organically handled by the uh scrum framework itself because the sprint backlog which is created is uh, owned by the developers and it is always very transparent it's not only the scrum master but it is um, the other stakeholders anybody in the team um, that is the pillar of the scrum framework which is transparency whatever is happening the progress or uh, the movements or the completion is uh, visible to everyone and ev- anyone and everyone right uh, so what what is the role of the scrum master here so uh, what i usually do in my teams is that uh, uh, i definitely do attend the daily scrum uh, the number one reason is not because uh, we don't trust the team members but uh, there are various stages of the teams so it's important uh, which stage the team is in currently how many members are new how many members have all never worked on agile how many work uh, members uh, do not own the things yet because of maturity or many various other reasons so uh, if that is the case it it is always advisable for a scrum master to attend and it is also a area of a scope of uh, improvement and an area of improvement for the entire team to elevate onto including the scrum master right so um okay so the uh, day to day activities are already there in, in during the sprint planning itself mention which are the uh, what is the sprint goal and not maybe not all stories are pertaining to the sprint goal but yeah 90% of the stories would be right so uh, call that out loud that which are the stories which are of utmost important and um which which is regarding the sprint goal and it can never be compromised during the entire sprint so whatever it takes we need to do to complete it right so uh, this so what happens is the human brain auto tunes to the fact that this is something critical and need to work on it um the thing is the next thing is uh, also if there are unplanned leaves so the team can auto uh you know auto uh, adjust their stories and activities based on what is what are the stories adjust their stories and activities based on what is what are the stories pertaining to sprint goal and how they can help the other team members so automatically they get uh, uh, they get to know uh, what can they deprioritize what they can prioritize and how they can align themselves during the sprint the scrum master need not say okay come on now you drop this and you take this up so that is something which we try to avoid right uh, the other thing is uh, i would like to call out is the team members behavior <clears throat> so uh, when you are there you are observing your team you understand uh, which team members have what kind of a behavior or which team in in general so some of my teams to be true are 
extremely self organizing they know if the one person is not calling out risk or the movement is not as per uh, the planning which we have done the other team members question they ask and they are more or more and more of self organized teams who lead them their own selves but there are some teams who have you know newly formed or the behavior of the uh, so behavior of the team members are not currently at like a very mature state so they need to be reminded or they need to be asked few questions that uh, probing questions that what do you think uh, will we be able to complete this or is there anything which we need to call out so then they would call out right so what you do is every day daily scrum ask probing questions do not track or do not uh, you know force yourself onto them but just ask probing questions so once you start asking they also get in an uh, environment and they understand that okay such questions are going to be at us so better i keep the answers ready right so this way uh, we can uh, manage even not a very self organized team but yes then the retros we can take this up that how do we become more self organized and the teams will come up uh, with their ideas and you know you can call specific incident okay i think this is where we you know we need to be more transparent or um uh, could we do something else uh, like not coming to this stage could uh, if there was a chance uh, what else we could have done so such kind of questions you know bring out lot of ideas by the teams themselves and simply uh, the assembly scrum ask probing questions do not track or do not uh, you know force yourself onto them but just ask probing questions so once you start asking they also get in an uh, environment and they understand that okay such questions are going to be at us so better i keep the answers ready right so this way uh, we can uh, manage even not a very self organized team but yes then the retros we can take this up that how do we become more self organized and the teams will come up uh, with their ideas and you know you can call specific incident okay i think this is where we you know we need to be more transparent or um, uh, could we do something else uh, like not coming to this stage could uh, if there was a chance uh, what else we could have done so such kind of questions you know bring out lot of ideas by the teams themselves and simply uh, the sm not directing that okay i think you should have done this so that is something where you know you're limiting the thought process of the team members itself so uh, yeah this is uh, this is uh, my answer for today thank you very much so hi hello everyone so today's interview question is as a scrum master how do you track your team's day to day task so first of all i as a scrum master will not track my team's day to day task now to explain more about this uh, i will say like uh, earlier in the project management time the managers were tracking the task of the team members because they were the ones who were assigning the task to the team members and they were more knowledgeable they have the depth knowledge about the task which they were assigning so they were keeping the track of those tasks but now in this traditional world it is not the case the scrum master may not be aware of that he may not be an expert of the task which the team is performing so here what he should do is like he needs to make sure the team's task is visible and is transparent in nature and how it can be done it can be done by using various tools various techniques like we can use jira as a tool we can use kanban as a tool in this way he can make sure like the team is working in a transparent manner the task is transparent not only to the scrum master but to the entire team and we all know like scrum has a very super uh, scrum ceremony called as daily scrum in which we can discuss about this uh, performing task where the team how they are performing on the task whether they need some support from the scrum master or uh, whether the task is uh, which they are handling is uh, beneficial for the team so in this way uh, the scrum master's main motto is to make sure the task are transparent in nature the task are visible to everyone and next is like uh, i will say as a scrum master 
you should not drag the task but make the work visible to the team and it should be like on a regular basis and it can be done by using various tools like Kanban, Jira, etc. But on the other hand, as a scrum master, I can wear the hat of a coach where I can give the feedback to the team uh, based on their uh, performance, not on, sorry, not on the performance, based on the task which they etc. But on the other hand, as a scrum master, I can wear the hat of a coach where I can give the feedback to the team uh, based on their uh, performance, not on, sorry, not on the performance, based on the task which they are performing. It can be like uh, how this can be done in a more better way, how can this be approached on a more better way or whether they have performed it accordingly so this as a scrum master i can give the feedback not only this uh, we can connect on one to one maybe on a monthly basis or a weekly basis uh, it all depends so this is what i will say so finally i conclude by saying as a scrum master i am not responsible for tracking the day to day task but I need to make sure like the task is visible to the team and it is visible to the scrum master. Thank you. Hello everyone. So today's question is as a scrum master how you track your team members day to day task. So scrum team is self managed uh, managed team or self organized team. Hence scrum master should not treat, track teams day to day task. Scrum master responsibility is to coach team to be self-managed or self-organized. Scrum master keeps the team organized and uh, on track by facilitating scrum events. Uh, scrum master guide team to be effective and efficient uh, to, uh, to achieve sprint goal. So uh, basically sprint backlog is owned by developers. Hence uh, developers are the right person or the team members are the right persons to plan their task and track them uh, track them scrum master is not the right person to track team members uh, day to day task uh, scrum master uh, scrum master helps the team member to remove the impediments if they are facing if uh, any if they are facing any impediments so that they can achieve sprint goal so scrum master can help the team to remove impediment if any uh, uh, so that the team members can achieve sprint sprint goal on time thank you okay for today's question uh, scrum master is the uh, servant leader and he should not at all be tracking the work items or to-dos for the team. Instead, he should be uh, working with the team to first of all plan the uh, work items that should be done or that they want to do, the scrum team wants to do within the sprint. And this is supposed to be done, done in the sprint planning at the start of the sprint. Once the sprint is effective, it has started, then he should uh, help the team members to uh, to achieve the completion of the work items that they have considered within the sprint plan. Now during the uh, sprint uh, he should be helping the team in the daily scrum scrum event wherein uh, they should be uh, inspecting and adapting uh, the work items that they have considered. He should be encouraging the team to uh, to complete those uh, work items. He should be uh, uh, expediting uh, the uh, the impediments and resolving the blockers at the same time he should be coaching the team so that they are collaborative enough that they are helping and uh, working with each other within the team members uh, that they they are able to uh, self manage the work that they have considered so that's how the work should progress within a scrum team hi everyone today's topic is as a scrum master how you're going to track the uh, uh, task of your team member on daily basis. 
so as a scrum master uh, i'm not going to track the task of each and every scrum uh, each and every uh, team member on daily basis because um, as per my understanding it is not scrum master job to track each and every task uh, but if teams uh, need any help help in the sense suppose uh, in the daily stand up call all the team members are uh, uh, they comes up and they are talk about they are going to talk about the user story that they are working on so what is the progress on that particular user story whether they have stuck in particular phase suppose in test phase or in development phase so that can be discussed in the daily stand up call itself if scrum master has to get any uh, update from uh, uh, like uh, what is going on in the team whether any intervention is needed or not if that can be uh, if when they are doing discussing in the daily stand up call scrum master can get uh, idea from that itself so uh, he or she will not specifically go and check whether that particular task has been completed or not or whether uh, like uh, you are uh, updating it on daily basis but if it is a new team they are not having any proper idea or they never for the tester uh, peer review once the development has been uh, done uh, they should go for a peer review one so that peer review task can be created then test case review by the tl and the uh, also with the product owner that task also can be created and uh, then bug fix if there is any bugs comes up then bugs fix task should be there for a particular user story or bug retest task should be there once uh, then, uh, the testing team has to uh, the test again the user story once the bugs has been fixed so all those things uh, can be constant and they can follow day to day in the every sprint so this is how scrum master can give a overall idea to the team how they are going to start if it is a new team if it is a um, experienced team a self managed team then definitely there is no need of telling all this activities to the team and they are uh, almost new all the thing and um, Uh, for the uh, new team uh, member a scrum master has to give idea like in the daily basis they has to um, uh, they has to you know um, update uh, their task on the day, daily basis so that it can give the correct data in the burn down chart because it, uh, the burn down chart is visible it's uh, it gives an idea how many um, how much is remaining in the particular sprint so to give that idea to have that idea for the entire sprint as the, their uh, task updation on the daily basis i all good evening this week's question is how do you track your team's day to day activities as a scrum master so to start with my response daily scrum meetings will ideally give an overview of what is the progress made by each developer to meet the sprint goal if there is any uh, blockers or impediments that will be highlighted or it will be uh, transparent enough during our dsms but if we revisit our question it is not about should a scrum master track day to day activities of a team member but it is like how as a scrum master we can track our uh, team members or developers day to day activities role expectation it completely depends from team to team or it completely depends on situation for example Uh, instead of uh, giving yes or no like should we track as a scrum master i would like to share few examples uh, based on my experience so once like uh, the first one is if i have joined a team which is newly formed and they have fair knowledge of all the scrum process and if as a scrum master if i am not tracking their progress on day to day basis there are possibilities that uh, at the end of the sprint there are some sudden surprises because of the assumption of the team member and also it may result in few spillovers or it will be difficult for me to get pos acceptance to close uh, stating that acceptance criteria is not met or this is not like uh, we can't close the user story as done so this will be the scenarios so until and unless team have that open communication like when they collaborate internally and they are able to Uh, uh, manage themselves it is as a scrum master it is like preferred for us to track their progress on day to day basis 
the second example what i would like to share here is if i have joined a team as a scrum master and it is already like they have uh, passed few sprints and i notice that team members uh, are very reluctant and due to aggressive timelines they don't prefer to follow the scrum process and at, at that point of time it will be a challenging situation for scrum master because using our facilitation skill uh, like effectively it will be uh, like we will make them uh, understand or coach them what is the importance of scrum event and we will try to uh, make things to be uh, moving in smoother way but what i can generalize is as a scrum master we should never take control on anything whether it can be meeting in terms of organizing the meeting or it can be in terms of any decision making because we know that at the end of the day developers are owning the outcome of the sprint planning event so that uh, they should be capable enough to capture the in and out of the progress what they are making in uh, towards meeting the sprint goal so apart from these example what i would like to share is so irrespective of the role expectation as a scrum team uh, we have to generate some value to the customers so in keeping that in the uh, mind it will be good or it will be fine for us to capture the team's um, activities and uh, apart from dsm we can have a regular internal connect to be in sync and understand if all are having the shared understanding about the uh, product and this will also help like if any team members are going on any ad hoc leave so our workflow will not get disturbed apart from this what i prefer is um, we will like uh, we what we have practiced is uh, we have uh, implemented that uh, giving a constructive feedback to the team members when and whenever required so they are uh, asked they will be connecting with the leads to have that peer review done for whatever works are completed to just be on a safer side and avoid any um, miscommunications that is going to lead in the future thank you hello friends so for this week question as a scrum master how to track your team members status on a day to day progress okay uh, as a scrum master how i will do scrum guide didn't suggest anything for that Uh, there is no mention of both our team member status check or progress in the scrum guide however in the practical life situation if i would like to take this as a two scenarios okay if the team is self organized and self mature team and uh, as a scrum master we don't want to track that is a, of course this micro managerial stuffs or project management activity Uh, that is why we are differing from project management to scrum master so scrum is kind of transparency inspection and adaptation we all together will do things and we are all responsible as a team we are all responsible for our deliverables it is not like someone is not delivering and we cannot say that because of that person i am not delivering so it's a team work what we are doing in this kind of team work they are more accountable team members are more accountable and they are self responsible and they themselves should aware and they themselves should clear everything their dependency something in this case applies for this mature team or self organized team or high performing team already who are all doing very great that for that team uh, scrum masters don't want to do this tracking or progressing and it is not the scrum master work as well scrum masters can encourage the team members to be self organized and self motivated uh, that way scrum master can uh, help the team members and they they insist the scrum values and how the scrum works those coaching areas scrum masters can do when coming to the tracking of the work team members should own it should are accountable for it and they as a team should track and they should deliver as per Uh, our agreement or uh, as per our alignment in the team okay we should have that unified goal to achieve our uh, achieve our goal okay achieve our target or otherwise but in the practical life or in a day to day life situation if the team is pretty much new and they are just organizing their team so that time again i may be correct or i may not be correct as well 
as per my experience what i feel is that for this kind of newly organizing self organizing team team members are not aware of each other and they are not clear on their uh, roles and responsibilities and they are not clear on the business um, or of course sometimes they may not clear on the technical perceptions um, uh, and uh, they don't know how it works so that time what i feel or what i found and which helped me in my journey i could say okay so that time as a scrum master we are in the need to at least i am i was in the need to daily daily check with the team members uh, what is the issue you are facing where are we do you want any support do you want any help since uh, since i very new and they some may not uh, easily collaborate with others some may be very reluctant to uh, speak they may not be outspoken so that time they cannot easily collaborate with the team members and they cannot uh, be very productive because of the nature of the team okay they are just forming they are just forming we are in the forming stage or we are not in the performing stage if it is a performing stage then it is something different they can organize by themselves they i don't, I don't want to as a scrum master as per the scrum guide we don't want to track them they will deliver what they what they want to do but when the team is in the forming stage as a scrum master we want to uh, nurture them as well as we want to foster them for their growth as well as a deliverable to be uh, delivered to the business okay so at the end we should add some business value so that one helped me when i checked with the team members still they got mingled with each other uh, when i check what is the issues what is the dependency and Uh, where are we in this item particular item what is the progress of this item when i am having that kind of conversation with my team members so that i would aware where are they where they are struggling if they are not easily easy going person okay so after a period uh, it's like a baby so when the babies are like very small at all 5 uh, years or 6 years or 7 years as a parent we want to hold them for a time and then we can let them go and they, they can make their own things and own stuff and own work so this is how what i felt and i even experienced uh, maybe for an interview shake we can answer that as a scrum master we shouldn't do that but one stage at one point we as a scrum master should hand hold our team and make them aware how the scrum works or at least let, till they understand how the scrum works how the scrum values what is the pillars and what is the scrum events so till then as a scrum master what i prefer is that uh, we have to be with them and we have to monitor them so that uh, it's not like monitoring again we have to support them i could say i could use this word as to support instead of monitor so that they feel very confident and automatically we bring, bring up the trust so if the trust is there then team can uh, do all by themselves so till the trust gain as a scrum master we have to check what are they doing when are they doing and uh, what is the issues and what is the challenges is the team collaboration is fine this things as a scrum master i am in the need to ensure um, looking for everyone's answers in the comment as well because uh, i would like to correct myself if my approach is wrong this is what i tried in my team and it worked and it worked and after a period i let them to deliver their stuff um, they were okay to deliver okay at the beginning they struggle they don't even know what needs to be delivered they don't have the clarity on the goals and all so that time i was in the need to uh, track them and uh, let them know okay, if you are not uh, very open and colloquial they were they were didn't even open their mouth so this is my answer Thank you so much.